Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Collinsville High School and our virtual commencement exercises for the graduating class of 2020. Despite the fact that the COVID-19 global pandemic drastically altered our lives and school year, the situation has not shaken our resolve, spirit, or Cahawk pride. Instead of dwelling on the experiences missed these past few months, we are going to celebrate our graduates for their excellent work at Collinsville High School, as well as their bright future. Anna Grace Weil, daughter of Memory and Thomas Weil, is the president of the Collinsville High School Student Council, which has achieved gold council status for 14 consecutive years. She will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Anna Grace Weil. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance in both English and Spanish. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Juro lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación Bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Thank you, and please welcome Mr. Snyder back to the stage. Thank you, Anna Grace. At this time, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize all veterans in our viewing audience, as well as our CHS class of 2020 graduates who will be entering the service. Thank you all for your service to our country. You are very much appreciated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Michaela Klein, daughter of Ann Matthews and Paul Klein. She is a class president for the class of 2020. Michaela has the honor of officially welcoming everyone to the Collinsville High School commencement exercises. Good morning. Although our senior year ended in an unordinary way, I am grateful that we still get to celebrate today. We may not be together in Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium this morning, but together around Cahawk Nation, we are celebrating all of you and all of your accomplishments. Our class has been tested with adversity before, and time and time again, we have proved that we can get through it, we learn from it, and we become stronger. We are currently living through history, and these are moments that we will tell our children and grandchildren for the rest of our lives. I would like to thank our wonderful administration, teachers and faculty, not only for teaching and supporting and mentoring us the last four years, but for their undeniable support during this difficult time. I would like to thank all my fellow graduates for all the memories and the time here at CHS. I know you've heard it before, but always remember, once a Cahawk, always a Cahawk. And without further ado, I would now like to welcome you to the Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Thank you. And I would now like to welcome Mr. Snyder back to the stage. Thank you for the excellent welcome address, Michaela. Prior to our class addresses, I would like to introduce our Board of Education, District Administration, and CHS Administration, as well as the Class of 2020 sponsors. I will also be highlighting our high honors graduates. Mr. Gary Picola, President of the Board of Education. Mr. Gary Kuzmerzak, Vice President of the Board of Education. Dr. Dennis Kraft, Treasurer of the Board of Education. Mrs. Jane Sulke, Secretary of the Board of Education. Mr. Tim Hasmir, Board of Education member. Mrs. Vicki Rulicki, Board of Education member. Ms. Michelle Stutz, Board of Education member. Thank you to our school board members for their dedication and service to our students and school community. Dr. Brad Skirdich, Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Brad Heyer, Assistant Superintendent for Student Services. 
Mrs. Latoya Coleman, Director of Curriculum and Instruction. Mr. Kevin Robinson, Director of Human Resources. Mrs. Uta Robeson, Chief School Business Official. Mr. Derek Turner, Director of Technology. Mrs. Allison Underwood, Director of Special Education and Related Services. Mr. Josh DeWitt, Director of Building and Grounds. Mrs. Kimberly Collins, Public Relations Liaison. Thank you to our district administration for their fantastic support and professionalism. Dr. Tricia Blackard, CAVC Director and Assistant Principal. Mrs. Charlotte Fisher, Assistant Principal. Mr. Darren Lee, Assistant Principal. Mr. Joe McGinnis, Assistant Principal. Mr. Clay Smith, Assistant Principal and Athletic Director. Mr. Dan Toberman, Assistant Principal. Thank you to our CHS Assistant Principals for their conscientious and excellent work with our students. It is also my pleasure to introduce the sponsors for the class of 2020. Mrs. Terry Carey and Ms. Tracy Cook. They have worked very closely with our graduates and done an outstanding job with our students. I now have the honor of recognizing the students ranking in the upper 10% of the CHS class of 2020. Students receiving summa cum laude recognition are McKenna Lang, Faith Liljegren, Claire Ross, Destiny Johnson, Kristen Mitchell, Spencer Vlasic, Darby Tarrant, Jarrett Allsworth, Mitchell Harris, Lena Yinger, Evan Kapecki, and Madeline Lautz. Students receiving magna cum laude recognition are Grace Crow, Isabella Perryman, Rebecca Howard, Maxwell Meske, Kylie Baker, Bailey Hollingshead, Jacob Schreiber, Julia Eversman, Jacob Holton, Elise Hallbrooks, Natalie Becker, Sydney Drum, Paul Falby, Melanie Johnson, and Elizabeth Sauer. Students receiving cum laude recognition are Kayla Hancher, Riley Kleb, Hannah Herman, Hunter Yingle, Kenneth Lutz III, Madison Reckline, Brittany Bettorf, Mackenzie Kell, Ashley Sanchez, Viosa Baluli, Dalen Frecker, Krista Swartz, Logan Carlisle, Sarah Vargas, and Jeremy Ovalle. Congratulations to all of our High Honors graduates. Three Cahawk students have earned the right of presenting the class address based on their tremendous academic performance at Collinsville High School. It is my privilege to first introduce McKenna Lang, daughter of Jana and Richard Lang. Hi, everyone, and thank you for being here today. I can remember vividly the last time I saw my classmates face to face. Exactly two months ago today, we sat across from each other as the minutes of seventh hour ticked down the last time we would be in that classroom. We joked with each other, some with tears in our eyes amid fears of it being the last laugh we would get to share in the presence of each other. We hoped that everything would return to normal soon in order to experience the moments we had been waiting for for so long. We never expected that it would actually be the last time we would hug each other, laugh about Mr. White saying it's Monday all day until it's not, or be stressed about one of Nuber's many writing assignments. Stress that us procrastinators always brought upon ourselves. Before the final bell of our senior year rang, I took a picture so I would never forget that moment. It was a picture of four girls I had spent the last four years getting to know, sharing laughs, tears, smiles, and knowing looks. We have all had entirely different experiences from one another throughout high school, different interests, different successes, and different disappointments. But while this new challenge, COVID, might affect each of us in a different way, it is a challenge we all have in common. 
It is a challenge to come to terms with the fact that the ending we were promised was ripped away from us and is completely out of our control. It is a challenge to miss out on the memories that we were expected to be making right now. And it is a challenge to find the closure that, we, that allows us to move on with our lives and into the next chapter. But it is a challenge we will overcome. How we face this challenge and every challenge that will come our way in the future is what defines us as a class as a whole and as people individually. I am honored to be standing up here today with two other amazing young women, an accomplishment I am very proud of. But as a runner, I know that each individual's race is their own to run. And so I say to all of you that you too should be proud of all the things you have achieved, no matter how large or small they may seem to anyone else. Never let a challenge be the end of your dreams. Let this challenge and all others make you stronger. Learn to appreciate the little things when all the big ones are gone. We have come this far. We are adapting. We are jumping the obstacles that have been placed in our path. We are staring into the face of adversity, but we must make the choice every single day to get up and fight through. Let every day that you get up and move forward be your own accomplishment. Looking back, I wish I had captured more memories and more moments with the people who made such an impact on me as a friend, a student, and a person, as I did with that picture on the last day. But for now, I will remember the good times and wish each of you an exciting and successful next step in your lives. Take advantage of the little moments. Remember that you will never know when that last time will be the last. So take advantage and capture those moments permanently. Allow yourself to be in the moment because you will never get it twice. Thank you to every teacher, counselor, coach, friend, and most especially my parents for shaping me into the person I am today. We did it, class of 2020, and I could not be prouder to call myself a Kayhawk. Thank you for the thoughtful address, McKenna. It is now my honor to welcome Faith Liljegren to the podium. Faith is the daughter of Mike Liljegren and Kelly Liljegren. Thank you, Mr. Snyder, and thank you everyone for joining us today. I'm willing to bet that, like me, the most important lessons you all learned while attending Collinsville High School did not occur in the classroom. Rather, they occurred at 1 a.m. while you were struggling to finish a homework assignment that was due three days ago. They occurred while standing in the student section, screaming along to a chant with your best friends. They occurred while in the midst of an argument with seemingly the most important person in your life. They occurred each night when you were forced to take off the mask you wore every day at school and face the very real struggles of your reality. There is the lesson of respect that teaches us to appreciate the authority, beauty, and meaning behind each and every action. A lesson that you must first learn to feel within yourself before you can share it with others. Then the lesson of fight and drive that teaches us the importance of persisting through battles and overcoming hardships. There is the lesson of what it truly means to cherish, to treasure and adore all of the bonds that filled us with so much love and laughter, and the events that made us feel as though we own the world. But my favorite lesson, the lesson of resilience, that teaches us to never break, and with each fall, no matter how big or small, to always rise to our feet again. Though I do not believe maintaining a certain GPA qualifies me any more than any of you, I will leave you with this. As we are only just beginning this life, when you feel as though it is too hard and there are ceaseless obstacles in your way, do not panic. Understand that everything we have endured throughout our four years here has prepared us to face the world with confidence and power. Remember how far respect will take you, how you are equipped with a sense of fight and drive that is relentless, how important it is to stop and cherish, never forgetting how blessed you are and how no one can take away your ability to get back up again, no matter how long you have been down. The reality of change is inevitable, as we will soon be consumed by the real world. Though, I hope when our journeys to conquer the world begin, we do not let them change the good things about us. I hope that with each decision we make in life, we make them with grace and belief. I hope that each and every one of us experience years far greater than these past four. But most importantly, I hope that leaving and moving on does not mean forgetting who has been by our side 
guiding us, encouraging us, and healing us throughout the way. Thank you, Class of 2020, for contributing to my lessons and allowing me the privilege of calling all of you my friends. Thank you for the wonderful message, Faith. It is now my pleasure to introduce Claire Ross, daughter of Joan and John Ross. Thank you, Faith and McKenna, and thank you, Class of 2020, for the opportunity to speak today. Going into this school year, like each of you, I expected to experience all the typical milestones for high school seniors. Going to sporting events, attending homecoming, prom, graduation, and of course, stressing out about planning for the future. But halfway through the first semester and long before the COVID-19 pandemic, I realized that my senior year would be very atypical. So it only seems fitting that the closure of this year was atypical as well. I'm usually not one to share my personal health stories. However, in October, I began to experience serious health issues that led to the diagnosis of two autoimmune diseases. When I heard the news, I felt hopeless. I struggled to keep my grades up and I struggled to find happiness. Although this seemed to be the hardest time in my life, it taught me many lessons that I hope you may find valuable as well. I realized that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. It's okay to not have everything completely figured out. But more importantly, I realized that it's okay to ask for help. And never forget, it's important to take care of yourself. So, in light of this current pandemic, and as our senior class and senior classes all around the world go through this difficult time, I want to share the importance of appreciating others and focusing on personal growth in seemingly hopeless times. It's tough to get through things alone, and it's important to thank people who help you along the way. I would not be where I am today, and I especially would not be giving this speech, if it weren't for my friends, classmates, teachers, administrators, counselors, and family helping me and supporting me along this journey. Class of 2020, we got through this school year. We can and we will get through this pandemic. As Michelle Obama said, don't be afraid. Be focused, be determined, be hopeful, be empowered. I look forward to I look forward to seeing what our future brings and I can't wait to see each of you on the other side. And now, I would like to welcome our principal Mr. Snyder to the stage. Thank you for the excellent message, Claire. I am sure you all agree, these young ladies were magnificent. Each year at commencement exercises, we recognize alumni of Collinsville High School who have distinguished themselves after leaving CHS. Mr. Gary Pacola, president of the Board of Education, will present this year's CHS Alumni Achievement Award. Please welcome Mr. Pacola to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. Today I have the honor of representing the Board of Education, and we are very happy to be a part of this commencement ceremony. Graduation is definitely one of the highlights of the year for us. At this time, it is my privilege and pleasure to present the Alumni Achievement Award to Mr. Albert Rubetz III. Mr. Rubetz spent his youth in Maryville during the Great Depression and attended Maryville Grade School. He graduated from CHS in 1946 and then joined the Marines. Upon returning home, he married Rose Ramatowski, a 1948 graduate of CHS, and together they have four children, seven grandchildren, and nine great-grandchildren. Mr. Rubetz received a Bachelor of Science degree in Geological Engineering from the Institute of Technology, St. Louis University in 1953. He is also a graduate of the Advanced Management Program and the Owner-President Program of the Graduate School of Business Administration at Harvard University. In 1953, he joined the Exploration Department of Continental Oil Company, better known as Conoco, as a geophysicist, and at age 34 was promoted to Chief Geophysicist of International Exploration and Production. He was responsible for overseeing oil exploration on six continents and was personally responsible for discovering the major oil fields in Dubai 
as well as what remains the largest gas field in Southeast Asia. He then became executive assistant to the president and later had executive responsibility for integrated petroleum operations in the Southern United States, Conoco's largest and most important profit center. In 1972, Mr. Rubetz joined Texas Pacific Oil Company as senior vice president. In 1975, he was named executive vice president and in 1978 became president and chief executive officer of Texas Pacific. He took the company from an asset value of $736 million to $2.3 billion in less than two years. In 1980, Texas Pacific was sold to Sun Oil Company and Mr. Rubetz founded Rubetz Oil Company after personally raising $100 million in a joint venture with international and domestic corporations as well as Wall Street investment firms. Mr. Rubetz is a past director of the American Petroleum Institute, the U.S. Oil and Gas Association, and the Independent Petroleum Association of America. He has served in executive capacities and on the board of trustees for many prestigious professional associations and academic institutions. He is a Knight of Malta and a Knight Commander in the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem and a recipient of the Alumni Merit Award from St. Louis University. He was listed in Who's Who in Finance and Industry and Outstanding Young Men of America. In addition to having such a distinguished career in the oil and gas industry, Mr. Rubetz is the author of two books, Maryville, Illinois, Growing Up During the Great Depression, and a geophysicist memoir, Searching for Oil on Six Continents. It is an honor for Collinsville High School to announce Mr. Albert Rubetz III as this year's Alumni Achievement Award recipient. While Mr. Rubetz was unable to be here in person, he was gracious enough to provide us with the following message. Congratulations and best wishes on your graduation. I attended Collinsville High School during the World War II years when every graduating class went off to war. But when the class of 1946 graduated, the war was over and there was no one left to fight. I had no money for college and all available jobs were taken by returning servicemen. So I joined the Marine Corps. The Marines trained men to be the number one fighters in the world. They drilled into us there was no objective we couldn't achieve. I carried this philosophy with me after graduating from St. Louis University and joining a major oil company as a geophysicist. I set my goal to be the number one geophysicist in the company. Why settle for second best? To achieve my goal, I studied technical books and journals every night and took related college correspondence courses. I achieved my goal at an early age and became chief geophysicist, international exploration and production, responsible for worldwide oil exploration activities. Always go for number one. Setting goals in life is most important. Equally important is outlining the steps to reach it and a strong, persistent desire to get there. Nothing is more fatal to success than taking one's job as a matter of course. A man will succeed in anything about which he has real enthusiasm. Consider your career as a baseball field with three bases and home plate, with home plate the idealized goal. Let's say high school graduates are all on base one. A few will remain there. Others will take their job as a matter of course and eventually make it to second base. Some will put in a good deal of extra energy and make it to third base. The person who strives to be number one will make it to home plate through continuing education, hard, honest, persistent toil, and enthusiasm. The surest way to qualify for the job just ahead is to work a little harder than anyone else on the job one is holding down. You can be anything you want to be if you have real enthusiasm and set your mind to it. You're going to run into many obstacles during your career. Meet them head on and remember that adversity breeds strength. One of my career advantages was growing up in Maryville during the Great Depression. Our parents underwent difficult times and we children had very few material things. But we organized our own activities and came out stronger. Hardships teach us self-reliance which serves as a shield throughout life. Life has an abundance of presents waiting for you to open. Enjoy them 
and I wish you well in all your endeavors. Graduating class of 2020, go out and get them. Congratulations to Mr. Rubitz on his prestigious honor and the excellent message to our Cahawk graduates. We have several faculty members who will be retiring at the conclusion of the 2019-2020 school year. Their contributions to the educational environment at CHS are deeply appreciated. Let's recognize these teachers for their dedication to students at Collinsville High School. Alice Carroll. Lisa Cleveland, Linda Gloria, Kathy Schmidt, and Cheryl Varner. These individuals have positively impacted many Collinsville students throughout their respective careers at CHS. We wish them health and happiness. Dr. Skirtich and Board of Education, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the class of 2020. They have completed the course of study prescribed by the State of Illinois, the Collinsville Unit School District Number 10 Board of Education, and the faculty of Collinsville High School. At this time, it is an honor for me to introduce our educational leader at Collinsville Community Unit Number 10 Schools. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Brad Skirtich, Superintendent of Schools. Family and friends and proud Cahawks, thank you for tuning in as we honor the Collinsville High School class of 2020. Despite the circumstances impacting our communities, we are grateful for the chance to recognize this year's graduates. Educating our students takes a collective effort between home, our schools, and our communities. I would like to thank our families, district employees, each of our communities, and the Board of Education. Collectively, your efforts have played a key role in the success of our graduates. Seniors, you have excelled throughout your high school careers. Your academic accomplishments, competitive fire, and commitment to service have brought great pride to your families, our Cahawk family, and our communities. Your days at CHS have come to an end far differently than those of past graduates. However, your successes and accomplishments shine as bright as any previous graduating class, and your resilience during this time is something you can carry with you throughout life. As human beings, we enjoy being recognized for our efforts. You would be hard pressed to find anyone that disagrees. But recognition by others should not be your motivation in life. I encourage you during your journey to work hard each day and strive to make a difference. There will be recognition for your successes from family, friends, and colleagues, but there will also be failures. Regardless, you have acquired the skills to learn from your successes and failures, accept them, move forward, put forth your best effort, and always strive for improvement. Life is a journey. You cannot control each outcome or occurrence, but you can control your effort, the energy, and the time you invest to reach your goals and have an impact on yourself and others. Years from now, your list of accomplishments will be vast and graduation will be the first of many more accomplishments to come that have yet to cross your young minds. Collectively, your accomplishments will be a list of impressive milestones you've achieved because of your hard work, your individual passion for success, and your efforts to make a difference. I'm excited about what the future holds for the Collinsville High School class of 2020. I look forward to seeing your many accomplishments in the years to come. Congratulations, and don't ever forget, once a Cahawk, always a Cahawk. Thank you. And now I'd like to please welcome Mr. Snyder back to the podium. Thank you for the meaningful message, Dr. Skirtich. Dr. Skirtich has hit the ground running here at Unit 10 Schools. His educational leadership is greatly appreciated. I now have the honor of addressing the Cahawks class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020 
for all of their accomplishments at Collinsville High School. These graduates have been exceptional to work with the past four years. They have definitely left a positive mark on CHS and our community in a variety of ways. First and foremost, these 420 plus students have been an outstanding class academically. This group has collectively earned $6.9 million in scholarship awards, which is a new school record here at the High School of Champions. These students eclipsed last year's record high of $5.1 million in scholarship money earned. Perhaps more impressive is the character of these students, which is exemplified by numerous charitable endeavors undertaken by so many organizations, clubs, and teams. Our community spirit and generosity certainly set CHS apart from any school community I have ever been associated with. I know in my heart, these young ladies and gentlemen have a great deal to offer society academically as well as socially. These students have been well prepared for their transition to college, technical school, the military, and the workforce. Their preparation has been the result of special relationships and experiences with family, friends, classmates, and faculty. Graduates watching at home, I encourage you to acknowledge the positive support and influence of your parents, guardians, and teachers. Each year, I share a few quotes with our graduates. I have previously referenced famous people such as Yogi Berra, Thomas Edison, Mahatma Gandhi, Mike Krzyzewski, and Will Rogers, to name a few individuals. Today, I'll share two quotes. The first quote is not attributed to anyone in particular. It reads as follows. The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. The next quote is from Walt Disney, a well-known person across generations. Walt Disney said, the difference in winning and losing is most often not quitting. Graduates, do not allow yourself to be a victim of the COVID-19 global pandemic and the experiences you have missed. Keep improving yourself at home, work, school, and in the community. Be a lifelong learner and take action. Make a positive difference wherever you are. Graduates, I encourage you to be empathetic and gracious to others during good times. It is also imperative to be responsible and resilient during challenging times. Graduates, I hope you pursue your dreams and aspirations and make a positive impact wherever you are. In closing, the Collinsville High School class of 2020 has certainly been a pleasure to work with the past four years. I will definitely miss this group as they are very special, talented, and unique. However, I know these students are eager and ready to meet new challenges and make a positive impact wherever they are. Hawks, thank you very much for the privilege of serving as your principal. Please enjoy the remainder of the ceremony. It is now my distinct pleasure to invite Mr. Gary Pacola, President of the Unit 10 Board of Education, to the podium once again. Mr. Pacola will address the graduates on behalf of the Board of Education. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. While today may be a highlight for the board, this is the culmination of a 13-year journey on your part. Granted, there were a few bumps along the last stretch, but you made it. Graduation is a major milestone in each of your lives, and you should all be very proud of yourselves. Part of what makes being on the board rewarding for me is seeing and hearing about your many academic achievements, your athletic accomplishments, and your artistic talents. But one of the things that really stands out for me is the amount of time that so many of you give to community service. I am impressed by the many different ways you find to make a difference in our community. Some of those activities include fundraising and support for less fortunate families, participating in community events such as the Empty Bowl and SOS Soup Kitchen, serving as mentors and role models for younger Cahawk students, providing Christmas gifts for students and their families, collecting used college textbooks to send to Africa, making blankets for young patients at Children's and Shriners Hospitals, 
and outside of school, you volunteer at your churches, food pantries, and with many other local civic organizations. There are many more, and I wish I had time to share them with you. All these projects are very worthwhile, and you are learning the importance of giving back to your community. I know your lives are very busy, and they will become even more so in the future, but I would like to encourage each of you to look for ways to volunteer your time and talents. In doing so, you will be helping those less fortunate and making a positive impact on your community. And along the way, you may even make some new friends. Your contribution, no matter how small or large, will make a difference. On behalf of the Board of Education, we hope that Unit 10 has given you a good foundation upon which to build the rest of your lives. We would like to congratulate you and your parents or guardians on a job well done and wish you all the best as you leave Collinsville High School. Thank you. And at this time, I would like to welcome back Mr. Snyder. Mr. Pecola, your time and dedication on behalf of our students is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. At this time, the class of 2020 graduates will be recognized for meeting graduation requirements and earning their diplomas. Mr. Mark Shusky, social studies teacher at Collinsville High School, will read the names of our graduates. It is my privilege to announce the names of today's graduates. Blake Townsend Abernathy Matthew Acton Cody J. Adair Jacqueline Marie Allen Xavier Malik Allen Cameron Ammons Amori Marie Anderson Trey D. Anderson Vincent M. Andrade Dustin Armstrong Samantha Page Armstrong Joel Patrick Arnold Miguel A. Avila Jarrett Alexander Owlsworth Mariana Basilio Kylie R. Baker Fisher A. Bales Kenya A. Bonuelos Jacob R. Baranski Thomas Bardwell Dylan Jacob Berendrecht Emma Charlene Barham Savannah Ann Barnett David A. Bartholomew, Jr. Devlin Grogan Bauer Jolanta E. Bauer Paige A. Bauer Brandon M. Beatles Natalie Rose Becker Viosa Baluli Michelle Guadalupe Beriozabal Brittany Nicole Bedorf Vincenzo Michael Bachoki Tawan A. Burge Haley D. Bishop Blake Nicholas Blackard 
Gabrielle, Annette, Blakely, Grant, M. Blaylock, Joshua, C. Bockler, Cooper, Benjamin, Borders, Isaac, Tetsuya, Border, Jack, Lancy, Bova, Jared, D. Bowen, Jasmine, R. Bowers, Brady, Logan, Brewer, Kane, Bridges, Grace, M. Brinkman, Logan, Brissenden, Caleb, R. Brocco, Caitlin, Brock, Donald, R. Brooks, Jr., Lauren, E. Brown, Bryce, Dwight, Brumfield, Seth, Patrick, Bruzowitz, Gregory, Cole, Buddy, Logan, Rupert, Bittner, Jacob, Daniel, Burkhart, Rebecca, Jewel, Burkhart, Tremaine, Christopher, Armand, Burns, Connor, William, Bush, Edgar, Calderon, Herbert, Michael, Caldwell, Evan, James, Capecchi, Kylie, Ann, Carey, Logan, Carlisle, Antoine, Germain, Ketchings, Brett, M. Cates, Chase, Gentry, Chandler, Ebony, Imani, Chapman, Christina, Faye, Cheeseboro, Christopher, B. Chai, Cassandra, Choma, Graciela, J. Campos, Goddard, Logan, Christopher, Copper, Anthony, Capitelli, Daniel, Cortez, Marisol, Cortez, Nicholas, Paul, Corzine, Sarah, Crab, Abigail, N. Crane, Tyler, Zachary, Creeth, Naya, Gabrielle, Crockett, Dariana, Shuri, Crowder, Grace, Arlene, Crow, Michael, James, Crowell, Marisol, Cruz, Delaney, Grace, Dalton, Caitlin, Daniel, Gabriel, Sebastian, Davidson, Samantha, De Leon, Oscar, Del Rio, Elizabeth, Ann, Denny, Austin, Michael, Dale, Dickerman, Sabrina, L. Dickinson, 
Anna Marie Dill. Kyle K. Dix. Christine E. Douglas. Nathaniel David Drobish. Sydney Marie Drum. Aaliyah D. Duff. Gabriel Duncan. Carly J. Durbin. Laurent Jaladini. Kelsey M. Eck. Carter Anthony Elmore. Haley A. England. Diego A. Escobedo. Gonzalo Esquivel Nines. Drew Anthony Evans. Hannah Alexis Evans. Julia Eversman. Paul Virgil Falby. Amaya Kishana Farley. Chelsea Finn. Lauren Elizabeth Fortner. Kaylor Danielle Frank. Lillian M. Franks. Sadie Franklin. Sierra Brooke Frazier. Dalen Gerard Frecker. Camden Blaine Fry. Jessica A. Frisbee. Damian Fulton. Abigail Denise Galvan. Perla Galvan. Angel Garcia. Dominic Garcia. Joel Armando Garcia Ramirez. Shelby Madison Gardner. Tyler R. Garner. Nicholas Garofalo. Jalen Garth. Peyton Dale Geppert. Chase Giacoletto. Cadence R. Gillespie. Aaron Gilmore. Jeffrey Gibson. Jesus M. Gomez. Barry Diana Gonzalez. Grant W. Goodson. Oren X. Gore. Abriana Grant. Elise Renee Greer. Stephanie Gresh. Andrew Neil Gunnerson. Celeste Nicole Hager. Elise Lauren Hallbrooks. Hayden B. Hall. Madison Ray Hall. Chase William Halleck. Alexis Claire Ham. Kayla R. Hancher. 
Mitchell, William Harris. Jamila M. Head. Cole, James Hellman. Ethan Helmholt. Amber Sky Henry. Isabella Ray Hensler. Wesley J. Henzi. Hannah Elizabeth Herman. Michael Paul Hernandez. Franklin George Hetherington. Tyler Denise Hill. Jpeth Andrew Hiller. Quentin Hines. Chloe Renee Hoffman. Morgan M. Hoffman. William Blake Holder. Bailey Autumn Hollingshead. Jacob C. Holton. Tyler Joseph Horrell. Gabriel Houston. Rebecca K. Anna Howard. Maria G. Huerta Rodriguez. Mackenzie Joy Hunter. John Huster. Andrew C. Hilton. Theodore C. Ingram. Logan T. Jackson. Katie Janice. Emmanuel Jimenez Flores. Aiden D.G. Johnson. Alexis Denise Johnson. Destiny Brianna Johnson. Isaac A. Johnson. Luke A. Johnson. Melanie Johnson. Taylor M. Johnson. Camden S. Jones. Hunter E. Jones. Kedrian Amandre Jones. Zachary Isaac Jones. Armani Jordan. Hunter Andrew Yangle. Lena Rose Yinger. Abigail Campmeyer. Aliyah M. Castley. Oren Isaiah Kegler. Mackenzie N. Kell. Jordan, Allen, Kimbrell. Eric, Kindle. Travis, King, Jr. Lauren, Grace, Kite. Mackenzie, O'Neill, Kite. Riley, Kleb. Michaela Marie Klein. Mackenzie Joe Klobnot. Caitlin Nicole Knudsen. Evan J. Kohler. Lance Edward Koritz. Logan R. 
Corvus. McKenna, K. Lang. Ryan, David Lanier. Marquis, Antonio Lanzi. Owen Latham. Madeline R. Louts. Mackenzie Jane Lawrence. Maximus William Lawrence. Miguel Angel Lazaro. Dante Maurice Lee the Second. Garrett Ryan Lee. Nathan P. Lee. Alexis M. Lewis. Jasmine Lewis. Faith Ellen Liljegren. Danielle Elizabeth Lockman. Jared T. Lockman. Hunter Charles Longy. Jacqueline Lopez. Noemi P. Lopez. Vanessa Lorenzana. Isaac K. Lovett. Kenneth Leroy Lutz the Third. Kevin A. Magadan Lujan. Taylor I. Marconi. Billy Marquez. Isabel Juliana Marsala. Ariana Natalie Martin. Jalen J. May. Austin M. Maynard. Kayla Marie McCain. Malaysia M. McClendon. Brian David McCuller. Jordan Anita McDonald. Sene Simone McDonald. Cortez McGlown the third. Aubrey Nicole McGrew. Madison McIntyre. Tyler M. McKeel. Scott Glenn McNally. Julia Christine Meeks. Sarah Mendenhall. Shayla Beatriz Mercado. Aaliyah Rain Merchant. Maxwell Allen Meske. Darcy Lynn Metzger. Ashley L. Milligan. Kristen Jane Mitchell. Branton Mode. Alyssa Marie Maudlin. Aaron L. Moulton. Allison Elizabeth Moore. Charlie A. Moore. Christopher Lucas Moore. Renee Mora. Jenna Mortis. Dalton J. Morris. Samantha Lee Morris. Kelly 
Morrissey. Craig Mosley. Alondra Munoz. Jason Munoz. Montserrat Munoz. Brianna Marie Murillo. Dean J. Murphy. Victoria Nicole Nelson. Dylan Norad. Elijah M. Norton. Freddie Novacell III. Mary Beth Nauman. Ryan H. Null. Karsten J. Olson. Brady O'Neill, Jesus Ortega Gomez, Hope Ortiz, Abigail Nicole Otten, Anya P. Outlaw, Jeremy J. Ovalle. Tyrese Luttrell Owens. Nicole Pacheco. Grace Yu Park. Carla Perez. Louis Perez. Blade C. Perkins. Isabella Rose Perryman. Ian Matthew Pescar. Trinity Marie Falsgraf. Samuel Louis Phelps. Robert Phillips. Jake A. Peeper. Alexander Pina. Dontarius Jerome Poe. Corbin Drake Powell. Demonte M. Prayer. Cole B. Quatlander. Amy Adenare Quintero. Logan Scott Raider. Malia Rack. Jennifer Ramirez Mayorga. Dalton P. Ramsey. Pedro Rangel. Madison Renee Reckline. Darren Austin Reeves. Stephanie Riveles. David Randolph Reynolds. Carson Richardson. Abriana Rivas. Austin Roberts. Jacob Roberts. Fernando Roca. Aaron Rodriguez Zamora. Lazaro Y. Rodriguez. Miguel Angel Rodriguez. Mark A. Roman. Maria F. Romo Gutierrez. Zachary Mateus Roseman. 
Fidel A. Rosales Jr. Claire Marion Ross Ashley S. Sanchez Lionel Sanchez Savannah R. Sanders Joshua Emmanuel Saucedo Hernandez Elizabeth Ann Sauer Emily Elizabeth Chance Thomas S. Chardon Brady Thomas Schiller Grace Victoria Schneider Dominguez Jacob Schreiber James R. Scott Hannah Nicole Scrum Dakota L. Shaver Jacob A. Shandy Grace Elizabeth Skipper Lucas Alexander Slaughter Caitlin Jacqueline Sloan Ashanti Smith Kawan Smith Jr. Cody B. Smith Gabrielle E. Smith Jacob Elijah Smith Jacob Nathaniel Smith Noah R. Smith Silver Q. Smith Lionel Solano Cenobio Taylor Janae Spears Raphael Spells Rhea Spillers Christopher Spritzer Michael Stabley Logan Staggs Dalton Ray Stallhut Paige Olivia Stamps Sierra Nicole Stark Alexander Trendley Stenger Micah Yvette Sterling Travion Montez Stewart Germarian Avante Stewart Heather A. Suarez Krista Margaret Swartz Darby Tarrant Drake Tarrant Rayshawn Taylor Estefani Izel Teapila Perla Liliana Teapila Antoine Thomas Jr. Kashan R. Thomas Andrew Thompson James Robert Tyree Christopher Allen Todd Alejandro Antonio Torres Coraima Torres Rubicelli Torres Brendan Scott Torti Jacob R. Totleben 
Alyssa Tucker. Leah Elizabeth Tyler. Elizabeth Valeriano. Emily Van Fossen. Denise Varela. Sarah Marie Vargas. Genesis Esmeralda Vasquez. Holly Michelle Veninga. Abril Villegas. Selena Carla Villegas. Reese Vincent. Spencer Michael Vlasak. Haley Elizabeth Waddleworth. Christina Marie Weber. Anna Grace Weil. Preston D. Wise. Matthew R. Whitaker. Matthew Wilde. Ariana Wilkinson. Dante Andre Williams, Jr. Haley Ann Williams. Jayla Cache Williams. Kyler Ahmad Williams. Sierra Williams. Jaden Christine Willis. Bradley D. Wilson. Kylie N. Wilson. Joseph Woodard, Carly Ann York, Christopher Zeta. Congratulations, class of 2020 graduates. Hopefully, we brought you some pomp amid the circumstances. And now I welcome CHS principal, Mr. David Snyder, back to the stage. Thank you, Mr. Shusky. It is always wonderful to see our graduates honored individually for their hard work and perseverance. Each Cahawk graduate has earned that recognition. I am now pleased to introduce our vice president from the class of 2020, Paige Bauer, daughter of Amy and Jason Bauer. Paige has the honor of providing some closing remarks. I greatly wish I could be standing in front of you all. The circumstances are unfortunate. However, we cannot let the moments that were stripped away from us define us. I know that many of you, myself included, have for the first time said that we miss school. It is a touchy subject to speak on, but holding on to bitter feelings will only drag us down as individuals. Instead, we should reflect on the good memories we have made throughout the past four years. You all, I am sure, can agree that who you were at the beginning of freshman year to now has drastically changed. I would like to thank the teachers, mentors, coaches, friends, and family that have played a part in molding us into who we are today. I encourage each of my classmates to take time and thank the people that have helped make that difference. We hold a special place at Collinsville High School as the class of 2020. Never once have we failed to speak up and out about issues within our school's walls. I believe our passion and drive to create change sets us apart from previous classes and classes still to come. Each person has paved a way for future students that walk through our school's doors. Our confidence as a whole student body is contagious and will propel us into being successful adults. I cannot be more proud to be a part of this class. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and hope that you continue, continue to remember your roots. 
I look forward to the time that we can all come back together at our first class reunion and reminisce on how crazy of a senior year we had. On behalf of all of us, as class vice president, I would like to thank Collinsville High School for giving each of us a second home. We are Cayhawks and we are the class of 2020. God bless you all. Now I'd like to welcome Mr. Snyder back up to the stage. Thank you for that positive message, Paige. In closing, the faculty, staff, and administration look forward to seeing all graduates at the CHS Class of 2020 Diploma Pickup Celebration this afternoon at your assigned times. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the Collinsville High School Class of 2020.